Summer in Alaska means people are itching to get out and about, and if that's on a bike, there are some safety measures to think about. And this isn't just for the kids. Adults need to make sure they're being safe, too. Some helmet safety tips this morning, Ariane. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. So today's actually bike to school day, even though it's a little bit drizzly out there. <laughs> it's still okay. You certainly want to be on the lookout for kiddos going to and from school. Uh, I'm here with Sarah Pennison Turstic with Thanks. Safe Kids Alaska. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. We've talked a lot about this, but I feel like this is a really great time, a really great reminder. Bike helmet safety, it is more than just putting it on and just darting out the door. It is, it is. I like to tell folks bike helmets are very similar to shoes. Every kiddo needs their own helmet that is sized to fit them. Otherwise, it's not gonna do its job if there is a crash situation mm -hmm. or a fall situation. Now, talk about bike helmets. Are they required here in Anchorage? They actually are. In 2006, our assembly passed an ordinance that does require bike helmets for all bike riders age 15 and younger riding on a public pathway, which really is almost anywhere other than your driveway. Okay, well, we also have you here because you're gonna demonstrate how to properly wear a bike helmet. And for that, we need to bring in our wonderful uh, stand-in. So, Mackie, come on Mackie, in, Mackie, come on over. This is little Mackie here. Hi, how are you? I told him he wasn't gonna have to talk, he, so you just stand there, okay? <laughs> so, Sarah, kind of walk us through what we're okay. seeing here. We've got Mike on the camera, so demonstrate properly fitting a bike helmet. Okay, so bike helmets do come in different sizes. And the first thing I like to do, some bike helmets have an adjustable feature in the back okay. that you can open like and tighten. And I've got this one open really wide right now. And I've laid the straps out nice and flat just because that's how I'm gonna put it on to Mackie's head. You doing good, Mackie? Okay. Doing Give great. Thumbs up. There we go. So we want the helmet to sit nice and straight across Mackie's forehead and all kids' foreheads, just a finger width or two above the eyebrow. What we don't want is to have the helmet kicked back because this is what I tell the kids is the smart part of their brain that we are trying to protect. So we want the helmet low and flat, straight across the forehead over the eyebrows. And Mackie, I'm gonna ask you to turn your head this way. These side clips under the straps, under the ear, should fall just under the earlobe. They shouldn't okay. be way down here at the chin. So we want them to make a V shape right under the earlobes on both sides. Okay, you're doing good, Mackie. Mackie, you wanna turn back forward? Great job. <laughs> When we clip the chin strap, and this one has just a bit of padding under it so we don't make an accidental pinch of skin. Okay, oh, that's good. When we good. clip that chin strap, we want it not so tight that it's difficult to swallow, but we want it snug enough that when the child opens their mouth really big, go ahead, Becky, it gives us a nice little tug on those oh, straps. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good job. Good job. All right. And I love that. Don't tilt it. You don't want your forehead showing. It's not right, a real right. adjustable. Right, And do you want to turn all the way around to the backside? And so now that we've got it fit on him, now I can take this back adjuster, which not all helmets have, but this one happens to, and we can snug it up by turning the dial to tighten it and make it more snug on the backside of his head. Okay. Then, you want to turn back around, Mackie? What I do is I ask the kids to give a nice shake of their head. And if the helmet stays yeah. with the head and mm -hmm. doesn't twist into a different position, we know that it's nice and secure. I love that. And really quick, Sarah, I know you guys have an opportunity if folks aren't able to afford to get a helmet. Yes. Tell, uh, talk a little bit about that. We have some information on the screen as well. Well, Safe Kids Alaska through Providence has a partnership with the Anchorage Fire Department, and we've made bike helmets available at all 13 Anchorage Fire Department stations within the city and Eagle River. Families are welcome to stop by a station 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week, to be fit with a bike helmet. Now, we can't always guarantee what mm -hmm. color or that we'll have the correct size at every station, but we really do try to keep those stocked all summer long. All right, good tips to have. Mackie, you did, a, you did an awesome job there. Thanks. <laughs> all right, well, Sarah, thank you again. Thanks. We appreciate it.